Okay, so I don't usually make these shorter rant style videos, but the last one I did on the quote, most controversial DDLC mod, actually did decently well, and this is way too funny not to put into its own video, so let's just jump right into it. So, I'm sure most of y'all know who Penny is, but for those who don't, Penny, or the name you probably remember her by, Oliver Norton, is the creator of Exit Music and Redux, and is the founder of Wretched Team. Well, two days ago on August 9th, she would tweet out on her dev account that it was the 5th anniversary since the release of Exit Music and would have this long thread reflecting on EM and how Redux fixed all the problems the original had. Now, me, being the ultimate Redux hater, seeing this amount of both capping and coping going on, I just had to respond to it. So I'd make a series of quote tweets, responding to her various code posts, but I decided to go for the heart and reply to this tweet in particular. But Redux exists to fix all that, and it's a way better mod for it, so I don't give a fuck anymore. It's kinda odd to say, but exit music kinda changed the trajectory of my life. I... I think it did. For all the wrong reasons. For no other reason than the Exit Music Discord server was where I met my now girlfriend of four years. And who is this girlfriend you may be asking? Well, my friend, it is the one, the only, Rose! The same Rose who I made a two and a half hour long video on how terrible of a person she is. And I also could have stretched that out to four or five hours if I was including all the stuff that she didn't directly instigate. So, I replied to that, saying this. Your girlfriend is an online terrorist and an actual embarrassment to the trans community. How about stop weaponizing people's past drug addictions against them and focus on making something that can actually be called, quote, good. Well, what I didn't realize at the time was that she had saw that I had followed her on her main account about 30 minutes prior and tweeted this. Blood thought he was invited. So I then quickly quote tweeted that, saying, ACTUALLY MOLDING LOL. And in the fashion of someone who isn't currently molding in the moment, she replies to my quote tweet exactly one minute later saying, Well, yeah, I'd personally like you to stay off, go away from me, but shrugging emoji. So I had to respond, and the only way Isaiah Savage Falefa can respond to something like this, with a gif of Yankee legend, I say a kind of for love, baby! It's our KF season, baby! Woo! But this is just the side mission. So let's get back to the main quest. Penny would go back to the comment I made with her very well-formed and thought-out rebuttal to my claims. Online terrorists, get your corny ass out of here, Lobao. What the fuck are you talking about? If only there was, like, a video out there, maybe about, like, two and a half hours long, that can properly explain to her how I came to that conclusion. Oh, wait, I made that video, and I know that she saw it because she replied to a comment that Jao made in which she called Ilya Meth Head, even though she was at the time, and still is, completely clean. Hence the second point I made about her weaponizing someone's past drug abuse against them. So I respond with, wow, just wow. Went on the main to respond 13 minutes after I comment and this is the best you got. And yes, slandering an entire team of people over the actions of one single individual in a 67 page doc is online terrorism territory. Also like how you ignored the second part there. Penny would clap back to this with a real banger, saying, Main was what I saw this on, lol. I'm pressing next to doubt on that one. Are you talking about Illy? She was a current drug user and was smoking up around her children. She had to beg to others to vouch for her when CPS came knocking. I guess Penny really thought she was cooking with this one, but in reality, she just set her whole house on fire Sayori style. Notice the use of the word was. She was a drug user. My argument was that Penny was weaponizing Illy's past. 
drug abuse against her publicly in which she just unknowingly admitted to. Without even trying, I had just backed Penny into a corner and she didn't even realize it. But I wouldn't go for the kill just yet. I would just respond saying, Five months ago, lol. Because that was when she made that comment. So, how does Penny respond to this? Well, by passively admitting that I'm 100% right. Ah, February 2021, lol. I'm blocking you now because I didn't ask for this shit today. You're a very unpleasant person, and there's a very good reason I distance myself from this community. Yeah, you really distance yourself. Bro, uh, that's how- uh, how come I can see you in the, uh, main DDMC Discord server, uh, when the Rose video is dropped? How come I saw you, uh, posting in the main- in the r slash DDLC mods about a few months ago, huh? Yeah, you, you must not distance yourself that far! And below she leaves a screenshot of Illy asking Zhao to vouch to CBS for in 2021. This unironically has to be one of the biggest unintentional self-owns that I've ever seen. She basically just came up here and said, Yeah, I weaponized Illy's past against her because I don't like her. And I'm gonna do it again. Right now. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and debate whether or not Illy's a good person because I can already tell you the answer is no. I mean, in society these days, it's not actually about whether you're a good person, but more or less whether or not you're good enough. I mean, Illy's been doing much better now than she had been in a very long time, and you pretty much have Siner to thank for that. So to bring up someone's lowest point in an attempt to drag them back down to that level is, in my opinion, absolutely deplorable, and requires a special type of hatred that Penny clearly possesses for Illy. So no, Penny. That was not the own you think it was, it was in fact a free video for me, so I humbly thank you for that. And yes, she did end up blocking me on both accounts, which would sadly put an end to this amazing convo. And that's the story of how I absolutely mocked Penny on the 5th anniversary of Exit Music's release. And if Penny thinks that this is the last time she's ever gonna hear or see me, well I hate to break it to her, but it most likely ain't. And she should already know this, because she's dating someone who's just like me in very many ways. The main difference, however, is that I don't have to lie and slander people to do what I do. And as always, until next time.